Welcome back. Join me while I break down another movie plot. Enjoy the memories and watch out for spoilers. In a time of violence and hunger, major corporations have come together and funded an excursion voyage to Mars. Leading the mission is the Senator's son Commander Patrick Ross, as he descends to the planet's surface with the task of collecting some Martian soil. Upon touchdown crewmate Anne and Dennis celebrate on board the main craft, as the whole world is shown to be cheering along with the exception of Herman, who sits in a mental hospital shouting that he told them not to go. Patrick exits the module and takes the first steps for mankind on Mars, then sticks a flag in it and begins drilling like a right human. After collecting soil samples which just appear to be made of stone, he re-enters his craft and exits the atmosphere returning to the shuttle. As the three make preparations to return home, one of the soil containers defrosts due to the difference in temperature and breaks open. An alien substance begins to ooze out and slowly creeps towards the crew, and as the countdown for takeoff is just about to reach zero, the slime leaps at the three and mission control loses contact. Seven minutes later and they all simultaneously wake up and seemingly show no negative effects, before re-establishing contact and returning home. Meanwhile in a lab on Earth, an alien named Eve is being experimented on by Dr. Laura Baker. Cloned from the DNA of a previous alien invader, scientists hope to find a weakness should the species ever attack again, though all experiments are unsuccessful as Eve's biology adapts and overcomes anything they throw at it. Colonel Burgess demands more from their funding and thinks Eve's being treated better than she ought to be, which is why Laura took the task in the first place to treat Eve with some respect, as Eve's shown to be concealed inside a cell watching the outside world on TV. When the astronauts return they go through physicals as a slew of women await to celebrate, but they're told by Dr. Arinsky that although in remarkable health, they're to refrain from any fooling around for the next 10 days while he finishes running tests. They attend a fundraiser in celebration of the successful landing where Senator Ross gives praise to his son and team. Patrick's shown to have disregarded doctor's orders and is now hooking up with Marcy in a closet. Being called out by his father and the applause of the crowd, he awkwardly gives a speech where he talks about looking down on Earth from space thinking how easily it would be to destroy, but the crowd just clap thinking it's a metaphor. He returns to Marcy where she waits in her hotel room and she's brought along her sister for a threesome. When Lucy's alone with him, she notices the contaminated Patrick sprout tentacles from his back as he climaxes, as Marcy's shown in the bathroom going through all three stages of trimesters in a matter of minutes, before an alien baby rips its way out of her. During the whole horrific ordeal, Eve experiences excitement sending her hormone levels off the charts. Patrick goes to his father's property now a father of two himself, and stashes his kids away in a shed to finish growing. The next day Patrick tells his father he can't remember the night before and is genuinely worried, but Senator Ross just indicates that he's aware of his son's promiscuity and ignores any further concerns. Dr. Arinsky finds the alien DNA in Patrick's blood and begins desperately trying to contact Cromwell at the hospital. The sample falls over with no help and shatters before slowly making its way over to a wall and pooling. When Arinsky goes to inspect the blood, he's suddenly grabbed through the wall and disemboweled, then crawls away to die as an alien's briefly shown through the hole. The next day Laura finds out that the DNA on Arinsky's from an alien, but with Eve still contained with them they know it must be another of her species on Earth. This prompts Colonel Burgess to call in someone who's dealt with aliens in the past. Press Lennox works in the private security sector training operatives, and initially refuses the request to help capture the alien for Burgess, until he offers him a million dollars tax-free. He travels with the colonel and the two walk straight inside the lab, giving Eve her first sighting of an actual male in the flesh. Laura gets mad at them as she claims to have reduced Eve's hormones and kept her separated from males to suppress any urge to reproduce. Press protests the experiments as she could be dangerous should she escape, but Laura claims to have implanted a device that explodes should she ever leave the building. The two trace Dr. Arinsky's last call to his former colleague Professor Cromwell. He tells them that during his studies he discovered life on Mars but that another alien species had wiped them out. Because of his fear that alien DNA might remain on the surface, he urged the government to avoid trying to establish outposts on it, but got committed after getting in a fight with a general. With this information, they now identify the astronauts as their prime suspects with the seven-minute delay the time of contamination. The colonel tells them to test Patrick first, as he's shown to currently be with another woman. Unable to find Patrick at his place they race over to Anne's who is currently in bed with her husband. The alien DNA makes contact with her husband's splooge and an alien hybrid instantly grows inside her, before spitting out a tentacle from her abdomen suffocating her husband. Press enters the room and shoots the tentacle in half, as Eve kills the creature with a gaseous weapon but Anne and her husband both die. Meanwhile Dennis is attempting to get it in when he is interrupted by a second team sent to retrieve him. They test his blood and confirm that he isn't infected like Anne, 
But Laura discovers that the alien DNA isn't a match for whoever killed Dr. Arinsky so it must be Patrick, as Anne's alien makes one final attempt to escape but is sliced in half. Patrick wakes in the morning to find Melissa next to him dead, after having given birth to another hybrid son. Now currently completely lucid, Patrick's horrified by what he's done and attempts to end it all out on the porch, as Dennis shows up trying to warn his friend that authorities are looking for him. He doesn't make it in time and witnesses Patrick blow his head off, but sees the alien DNA regenerate his head completely and restore him back to life. The parasite takes full control of Patrick's body with the drive to mate with as many women as possible. Dennis returns back to the lab and decides to join them in their mission to bring down the creature. Patrick begins impregnating as many women as he can, picking them up from the clubs or the streets and then taking them to a motel and leaving with a corpse in the morning. He takes dozens of his victims' bodies to his father's property and buries them, then hides the offspring away in the barn creating an entire race of hybrids. Laura notices Eve's going through the motions anytime Patrick is, so she's ordered by Burgess to have Eve telepathically track his location, but Laura worries this will strengthen her instincts and send her hormones through the roof. Despite this they strap her to a machine and she begins to see through Patrick's eyes, directing Press and Dennis as the creeper locates another attractive woman and begins his pursuit. He follows Darlene into a supermarket who is infatuated with the astronaut but then just grabs her and begins dragging her out back. Press and Dennis chase him through the building but lose him in the large car park. Before the alien can force himself upon the woman he becomes aware of Eve tapping into his mind as she tells him her location. He lets Darlene escape and surrenders to Press and Dennis, pretending to have no clue about an alien presence. They take him to the lab despite their suspicion but as they enter the compound, Eve shows signs of being in heat and demands to be let out. Patrick knocks his captors down and fights his way to Eve's holding cell and they begin to get all hot and bothered. He tells Laura to open it and when she refuses nearly infects her, but Press and Dennis show up and drive him away with the gas guns. Later on Burgess confronts Ross with evidence that his son's infected and asks to help capture him, but the senator refuses suspicious that they will instead kill him. He deduces that his son's been hiding out at the property and apologizes for ignoring him when he tried to seek help earlier. The human side of Patrick returns and he hugs his father, when the alien violently rips through the senator killing both Ross and Patrick's human side for good. He then begins his hybrid alien human children's cocooning process, so that they can fully mature and begin world domination. Dennis gets to meet Eve for the first time but they notice she begins to act distant from him, leading Laura to discover that he wasn't infected like the others because he carries a human disease that the alien species lacks any immunity against. So Laura weaponizes Dennis's blood and creates a toxin to inject into Patrick. Seeing everyone about to kill the only other alien on Earth, Eve breaks out of her confinement cell before smashing the console connected to the bomb in her head and takes off running. The moment she exits the building, surrounding military open fire and easily take her down with a hail of bullets leaving her lying in a puddle of blood. It absorbs back into her as her wounds heal and she springs up, before continuing the run down to a military vehicle and escaping the lab. She pulls up at the property where the senator's still lying dead and makes her way into the barn. She walks through the cocoons and into the back where the two aliens confront each other, then strip down and begin mating. Press Laura and Dennis pursue her in their own Hummer and finally discover Patrick's nest. They head inside and begin to gas all of the offspring, which seems to work, but Dennis is grabbed by a tentacle from behind in a last-ditch effort but Laura saves him with her weapon. The two mating completely change into their alien appearances and turn into a giant cocoon mid-thrust. Press discovers them first and tries warn Eve that he's going to fire, but the other two enter and Patrick transforms into his second alien form. He knocks both Press and Dennis away, but Laura appeals to the human side of Eve's DNA to help them. Which she does by growing spikes out of her back and through Patrick. He knocks her away and changes again, when his head splits in two and his tongue tentacle goes down her throat. She eventually dies from the attack and he turns his attention back to the team, as Press ignores the dart gun with Laura's toxins to kill Patrick and just fires his regular gun. It does nothing and Patrick turns around to kill Laura, so Press again deciding not to use the gun loaded with Dennis's blood already, sticks a pitchfork in his leg and throws it into the alien's back. Patrick begins to pull it out but he collapses and disintegrates to death, as Dennis is ready with a machete smeared in his poisonous blood. The military gets there just in time to take all the credit and carry the wounded Dennis away in a helicopter, who's happier than ever with his escort. Eve's body is loaded into an ambulance and sent off to the lab, but her belly begins to swell rapidly as one of the hybrids is shown to have survived. And the movie ends. I've been killing aliens all night. You know what I'm saying? So you made it. I appreciate your time. I couldn't have done it without you. Tell your mother I said thanks. <laughs>